In this tutorial, we're going to look at the finishing touches of our image. If we go to Enhancements and down to Finish, there are a number of options. Firstly, we can choose Reduce Noise if we find our image has too much noise in it. And if we do that, we are basically open up Photoshop's default noise reduction software. And it depends entirely on the image that you're working on, how you use these sliders. But I would suggest that whatever changes you make, make sure you protect the details in your image as much as possible. Next we have Sensor Dust. If we click on Sensor Dust, we'll be presented with a very strong black and white image. It's excellent at bringing up dust that we may have missed earlier on. For example, there's clearly a mark on my image here, but on the color image, I can hardly make it out. Next we have Light Vignette, which will create a very nice soft vignette around your images. Or we can create a stronger vignette with Big Vignette. Finally, if you find you have chromatic aberration in your images, like the one here on the edge of the building, we can just choose Clean CA. And on this new layer with the mask selected and a white paintbrush, we can make our brush much smaller and just paint out the chromatic aberration. And if we're happy with our changes, we can go to prepare and we can prepare our images for the web. This will change the color profile of your image so it's suitable for the web. It will also make sure your images are razor sharp and it will instantly resize the image to the size you wish. Now if you don't see the ideal size that you like to work with, in the Your Actions tutorial where I show you how to set up your own individual actions, I'll show you how to prepare your images for the web so you can create a web preparation button all of your own with the exact dimensions that you like to work with. 